Hey Internet, it is Alex R on Fight Games one more time, and today I want to bring you the most important kind of a video that you can possibly make. This is critical information. This is my tier list for characters that I would like to return as DLC in Tekken 8. Absolutely important. I know everybody was clamoring this, you wanted to know my opinions on what characters I wanted to come back. And today, our long national nightmare is over, I'm going to give you my opinion about that. So let's get into it. So, I've uh, put the characters that are already in Tekken 8, uh, in this tier right here, already in Tekken 8, so... Uh, but let's start grabbing characters. So, uh, do I want Akuma? I would be okay with Akuma coming back. A lot of people did not like Akuma in Tekken 7. I love Akuma as a character. Uh, he's my favorite Street Fighter character, easily one of my favorite Street Fighter characters. If he came back, I'd be cool with it. Um, I think they need to rework the balance a bit, but I think if they made him more of a Tekken character, it'd be cool. Uh, perhaps an unpopular opinion. Hot take out of the gate. I like Akuma. I'd be cool with it. Uh, Alex. Um, you know, <laughs> if they put Alex, whatever. There, there was a, a rumor or perhaps a potential, you know, hint that we were getting Alex in an earlier video. Uh, there was a guy doing mocap for what looked like a dinosaur. I don't know. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Alex and Roger, to be totally honest. Uh, he's okay. Whatever. Um, Ancient Ogre and Big Ogre. Ancient Ogre and True Ogre. I think they would be really cool for story reasons. Um, I think they're dead in the lore, but that's never stopped anybody. Um, that'd be cool. Bring him back, right? Let get June get some closure. Uh, although I suppose Jin probably killed him in the Tekken 3 story. I don't know. But cool characters. Uh, I'd be fine if they come back. Angel. I love Angel. Um, I played a lot of Angel in Tag 2. I like Angel a lot. Um, you know, I'm a Mishima player. Uh, Angel was really, really bad in Tag 2. Um, but I liked her design a lot. I thought I thought she was aesthetically great. Um, I actually love the screaming. I'm a big fan. Uh, so if they bring back Angel, she'd be one of my top picks. I, please bring back Angel. Uh, man, she was so bad in Tag 2. <laughs> it's terrible. Um, Anna? I had a pocket Anna. Um, in both Tag 2 and uh, Tekken 7, I played a lot of Anna. I actually like her better than Mina, personally. So I 100% I want Anna to come back. I think she will. I think she seems likely. Um, her story is unresolved. She's a cool character. Um, Anna's great. I hope they bring her back. Uh, Armor King? I need Armor King. Uh, I had a pocket. Same. Same. You know, I played him in Tag 2. Uh, like, I played him a lot in Tekken 7. He, I, I joke he was my true main in Tekken 7. Um, they keep giving his stuff to King. But Armor King is so cool as a character, and I loved his moveset. Um, like, just having like a Mishima Grappler hybrid, that's that's the juice, right? Man, bring back Armor King. Please bring back Armor King. Uh, Beck? Uh, I don't particularly care. I like him more than Warong, but I don't like Warong. So, you know, Beck would be fine. Please bring back Bob. I'm gonna go ahead and put Bob in, I don't know, maybe absolutely, I, I would be real happy if they brought back Bob. I love Bob for a lot of the same reasons I like Armor King. Uh, he's a cool character, like uh, not just from a function perspective, although his function's great too. You know, he's like a fun Mishima with stuff. So I love Bob, I'd be so happy if they bring him back. Um, great character design. Uh, you know, he was overpowered in Tekken 6, but whatever, like in Tekken 7, Perfect. Great character. Uh, I hope they bring him back. Slim Bob? I actually don't want them to do Slim Bob. Uh, for the reason that Slim Bob is not what Bob wants. You know, Bob... So if you don't know, this is this is the same guy. Um, this is Bob's nightmare situation. Like, he doesn't want to be slim. You know, he's, his intention is to be large for tactical reasons. You know, that's... He, he wanted to go up a weight class, so he gained a lot of weight. Uh, that's his goal. You know, he wants to be round. So, let Bob have the body he wants. Please do Bob. Not Slim Bob. 
Uh, Bruce. Man, I love Bruce. Bruce is great. Uh, I played a lot of Bruce in uh, Tag 2. Um, I like Bruce a lot. I think they should bring him back. Everybody says bring back Bruce, but really bring back Bruce. Uh, I like Josie too, uh, but I, I see no reason why you couldn't have both of them in the same game. They're similar, but not the same. Um, I think they should both be in. Christy, uh, I'm torn between like sounds good and eh. I think they, what they could do is just like have her have a significantly different moveset from Eddie. Um, I like Christy. Christy's, Christy's okay. Eh. Maybe she's an eh. I don't know. I wouldn't particularly play her, but Christy's fine, you know. Eh. Combat, um, so, I wanna say eh for combat. There were two versions of combat. So in Tekken 4, combat was basically Mokuchin, roughly. And in Tag 2, combat was um, customizable, customizable, customizable moveset. So completely not okay for competitive play because your opponent doesn't know what your moveset is. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and say, he would be fine if he was a Mokujin, but he would be no if he was customizable because that's just not okay competitively. Uh, Boskanovich, Dr. B, ah, I don't love him. I don't think he should be a playable character. He's kind of a stupid joke character. Eh, charming guy. Um, Eliza? I like Eliza a lot. Eliza is actually my favorite meter character uh, in Tekken 7. Um, I like her character design. I like vampires. Um, you know, hot goth girl. Eliza, good. Also, shoutouts to Miss Unsmiley. Probably not watching this, but one of my good buddies is uh, an Eliza player. Main Eliza in Tekken 7. That was basically the only character she played. So, so that Ms. On Smiley would be happy. Let's bring back Eliza. Fakamrom? I don't love him. Uh, he never did it for me aesthetically, and I don't think he was that fun to play. Some people liked him. I wouldn't be torn up if he comes back, but uh, not my favorite. Forest? Uh, I think it'd be pretty weird if they brought him back. I, I think it would be honestly very surprising. Um, just because we have Marshall, and there's he's never been in the same game as Marshall. Uh, so if you don't know, he's basically the same, very, very similar character to his dad, uh, Marshall Law. Um, I don't know, seems unlikely that they would put him in the same game. That's not a tag game as Marshall. Uh, but, you know. Eh. Let's put him in eh. I don't mind him. I like, I like Marshall. It'd be weird to have a, a character that was so similar. Ganryu? I've nev never been a huge Ganryu fan. He's fine, I guess, but I, I wouldn't prefer that. Uh, Geese seems weird. Uh, like, it'd be odd if they brought him back, uh, but I like him. He'd be fine. Um, really good character design. Um, he's aesthetically super interesting. I love what they did with the moveset. He's a Tekken character, you know? He's He'd be... It'd be okay with me if they brought him back. I like Akuma more though. Gigas? Um, man, shout outs to Spyro. Uh, Spyro would be real happy uh, if they brought back Gigas. I like Gigas, Gigas is fine. Um, although they gave a lot of his stuff to Jack, which is unfortunate. Gone? I don't know, I didn't, he's kind of a gimmick in Tekken 3. If you ever, you ever play Tekken 3, he's in there. Um, He's hard to unlock. You gotta play a lot of Tekken Force to unlock him. Uh, kind of a stupid gimmick character. Uh, not my favorite. Uh, JC. Oh, JC is Julia, right? I should put these together. So, just while we're here. Skin or transformation, JC? Yeah. If there was a JC skin for Julia, Julia's okay. Um, I don't super love Julia. I don't know. I, there, there needs to be like a. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fine if there's Julia. She's all right. Jinpachi, I love Jinpachi. I played. So my main, he was one of my tag partners in tag two. 
um, really interesting moveset, um, kind of like a fun, minimalist take on what it means to be a Mishima. Um, he doesn't wave dash, um, but man, he hits like a truck, Jinpachi. So this is Kazuya's grandfather, this is Heihachi's father, uh, if you don't know. He's, he's died at least twice now in the story, um, but that never stops Mishima's for too long. Uh, but yeah, I, I'd be in favor of, of uh, Jinpachi. Maybe this is getting a little... I might need like a tier for like characters I like really need. You know what? I'm gonna put him and... These are characters I like, let's say. Yeah. These are the characters I like. These are the characters I really want up here at the top. All right, Josie, uh, let's put her with Bruce. I would be super cool if they brought back Josie and Bruce. Um, a, lot of, a lot of my friends like Josie. I like Josie a lot. Um, Josie's almost, I don't know. Maybe I should make this like a continuous thing. Josie, yeah, put in Josie, that'd be great. Um, Katarina, I don't particularly care that much. I like her okay, she's fine. Uh, I think it'd be weird. I think uh, she didn't really go over very well. I think they would have to significantly redesign her uh, to get people excited about bringing her back. We're getting there. Um, Kazumi? I played a lot of Kazumi. I played a lot of Kazumi um, in Tekken 7. One of my favorite characters, easily. Uh, I think it'd be weird if they brought her back. Um... But I would be really happy if they did. Um, and then Devil, I don't know, maybe her heat gimmick could be like she was Devil form. So that's Devil, this is the same person. This is her Devil form. These are two different characters right here. Um, this is um, uh, uh, Kunimitsu the mom and then Kunimitsu the daughter. Um, I like Kunimitsu the mom a lot. Uh, she's really fun. The daughter, I'm less into. Uh, but Kuni Mom, great character. I'm a big fan. Um, Lei, I don't love Lei, but he's interesting. He's a good character. Well, he's a he's a very complex character design. Um, puts a lot of burden, like knowledge check burden, on the defender. Uh, it's one of those characters where if you don't understand the matchup, you're going to explode, and it's very, very hard to understand the matchup. So, I don't know. I don't love him. Uh, I don't like Jackie Chan either. So, I don't know. Chloe? I like Chloe. I actually like Chloe a lot. Um, and if they brought her back, uh, that'd be cool. Um, I think she's real fun. Uh, like, what a, what a great character design. I've, I've talked about this a couple of times, but I like Chloe. Uh, kind of a lot. Um, I didn't like her at first, but the more I spent time with her, the more I was like, oh my gosh, this is actually really fun. I'm big into this. Um, she's got a lot of rhythm games baked in. Like, Chloe's, Chloe's great. Cool design. Um, Marduk? He's not my style, um, but some of my friends would be really happy if he came back. I'd be, okay. I'd be cool with that. Marduk's good. For the reason... Also... Marduk needs to be in the story at the same time as Armor King. Because uh, they, they kind of go together lore-wise. So if they brought back Marduk, that would kind of strongly imply that they were bringing back Armor King, uh, just from a lore perspective. So I'd be I'd be fine with that. Uh, everybody thought he was coming back too. like that, And that might have been like a um, like an intentional fake out on uh, Namco's part. Uh, Master Raven. I like Master Raven a lot, and I actually like her more than I like regular Raven. Um, but their movesets are very similar. So if there was like an alt skin, like if you could like pick, like it, there's been a couple of games where like Tekken 4, maybe Tekken 5, you could pick like Eddie or Christy and it was the same character slot, but you got like the same, um, it's the same moveset. And that'd be fine. Like I, I would actually prefer that. I think that'd be great if they brought back Master Raven. Um, she has a, a very, very similar moveset. Basically the same moveset as uh, Raven here. So, uh, 
I would be super in favor of them bringing her back, because I like Master Raven uh, quite a lot, actually. Um, Michelle? I like Michelle okay, although her, um, her moveset is very, very similar to Julia. Where did I put Julia? I put her in here, right? Where's Julia? Oh, I put her up here. Um, yeah, so if there was a Michelle skin for Julia, um, that would be cool. Yeah, so here's Julia, here's Michelle. Their movesets are very, very similar in prior games. Um, yeah, Michelle's alright. Miguel... I... don't love Miguel. Um, but my buddy Minori would be very happy if he came back. He's not my favorite. Although, actually, you know what? I'm gonna bump him up. He would be good for lore reasons. He's one character that you cannot imagine forgiving Jin. And that would be interesting from a story perspective. So if they bring him back, that's great, because that means that somebody's still really angry at Jin, which is good. Uh, okay. Miharu, um, she's basically a Xiaoyu skin. Her moveset is almost identical to Xiaoyu in Tag 2, uh, and Tag 4. Um, she's fine, you know, whatever, you know, Miharu. You know, Ling Nation loves Miharu, but, you know, whatever. Mokujin. I need Mokujin. Give me back Mokujin. Uh, Tatsujin is a skin for Mokujin, basically. Um, Mokujin is so interesting. If you don't know, if you're new um, since Tekken 7, you've never seen Mokujin. But uh, Mokujin is a, a random select character in the way that Namco has, has done traditionally. They haven't done this for years, but they used to... Um, they used to have a character in like both Tekken and Soul Calibur. Um, so like Inferno was like this. Um, Edge Master and um, Elysium were like this in old Soul Calibers. Um, and what uh, Mokujin does is at the beginning of every round, he random selects to a different move set, and it is such a flex to pick Mokujin because it's like I do not care uh, what character I get. I don't care what move set I get. And in fact, I'm going to be able to tell what character I am by looking at their stance. So Mokujin is so sick, uh, and they should bring him back. Absolutely Mokujin. Negan, I like Negan a lot. Negan, I think, is one of the best uh, guest character designs they did in Tekken 7. Um, it's a triumph. A fantastic character design. They did so good with Negan. They should bring him back. Uh, Noctis? I don't like Noctis. I don't like a darn... Th there's exactly one thing I like about Noctis, and that's that my buddy Chris likes playing Noctis in Tekken 7. So shoutouts to, to Lord Decommutate. Uh, I don't like Noctis, but I like you quite a lot. Uh, P-Jack. P-Jack is a Jack, um, so that would be a skin or transformation. P-Jack in, um, I think, most appearances that he's been in has basically been Jack, but worse. Um, that's certainly the case in Tag 2. Uh, P-Jack is just Jack, but worse. Um, Rodeo Montana. You might not be familiar with this character. Rodeo Montana was unique to Tekken Mobile, which most people probably didn't play, and has been discontinued. So, Bo Rodeo Montana is not available in any Tekken game. Uh, that you can currently play, because the mobile one has been completely shut down. Um, he's this just, like, bizarre caricature of what somebody thought American culture is like. Like, he's a Marine who plays football. Um, he's like Brian Battler, but worse. Uh, Brian Battler, they completely understood American culture in King of Fighters. Uh, Bo Montana... Uh, it would be very odd if they brought him back. Whatever. Um, Roger and Roger Jr. I know I said I don't like Alex and Roger, but... Okay, come on, bring back King Cruise. Um, Sebastian... Roger and Roger Jr. are, like, my favorite silly animal character. Sebastian is basically the same character as Lily, 
roughly, he's slightly different in Tag 2. He's Lily's butler, he has the same moveset. Uh, if they brought him back as a, you know, alt character for Lily, that'd be fine with me. I like him okay, he's charming. Uh, Taekwondo Girl. Um, they, she's never been playable. She wasn't even playable in Tekken Mobile, so we don't have a moveset for her. We don't know what she would be like. Uh, I don't know. If they made a moveset, I'm sure it'd be fine. Uh, maybe she could get Beck's moveset. That'd be fine. Uh, I don't know. Tiger is uh, basically a skin for Eddie. You can pretty much make Tiger now, um, more or less. Like, you can put the afro on Eddie, and then that's kind of Tiger close to it. Um, so if you don't know, he appeared in Tekken 3, maybe Tag 1, and definitely Tag 2. Um, and he was a very, very similar character to Eddie and Christy. He, there are subtle differences to the moveset, but he's, you know, roughly the same. Unknown. Um, Unknown is basically June, except with more superpowers, kind of like evil goop superpowers. And there's a lot of unknown stuff in June, in the Tekken 8 version of June. Uh, yeah. I'd be cool with it. I don't know, like, I was thinking, when I saw June, I thought, like, in Heat, she would turn into Unknown, but that, that's not what happened. Um, I like Unknown. I like Unknown a lot. Uh, and then Wang. Yeah, Wang is cool. And he's referenced in the story, like, it's not clear if he's, like, alive? Like, he... There's no, like, situation where he canonically got killed off, so he's probably alive. Um, Ling has his Waning Moon throw now. Uh, which is kind of a menace, uh, but I like I like Wang. You know, he's he's fun, um, good character. Uh, so this video is getting a bit long, but uh, this is my tier list. This is not ordered. Um, these are the returning characters. Uh, this is like the Tekken characters that have existed in the past, and whether I want them to come uh, for Tekken Eight as DLC. Um, a lot of people are asking about like. You know, thinking about guest characters, uh, maybe new guest characters. Um, maybe that's a topic for another video. This is getting a bit long. Uh, but anyway, this has been Alex R on Fight Games. Thanks for listening. Uh, hope you enjoyed this riveting tier list. Uh, and I'll see y'all later. So please have fun. Play some Tekken. Thanks.